Good morning, folks. The Real Captain Kirk here, live from Weather Trends 360 Studio here in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. It is the 13th of January, Monday morning. If you've been a little under the weather here this uh, season, again, um, join the club. Pretty much the entire country has had regional to widespread outbreaks. So it's been very much of a very early spike flu season, as opposed to last year, which was more of a dome, very late season, and that didn't peak until uh, late February. So a much earlier starting season here. You can see that the, the red line here is the flu activity, according to the CDC. Uh, so the good news, it appears it has peaked. Let's hope this is a season more like 2014, 2015, which then plummeted uh, for flu activity. Um, you can see the purple line there was last year where it just was a slow, gradual dome season that peaked in uh, late February and then extended all the way into March and even part of April. Let's hope it's not 2017, 18. It had a, um, you know, just nonstop surge all the way um, to this huge dome. So let's hope, uh, let's hope that we're over the hump here uh, again for many folks, uh, even some employees here at WTI that actually, actually had a, a real flu type case. Looking at winter temperatures here for meteorological winter, 1 December through 13 January, it's been warm uh, across both North America, uh, southern Canada, and uh, Siberia even. Uh, the cold spots have been limited to more toward the Arctic Circle, actually uh, Alaska, uh, northwest uh, Canada, Greenland, uh, some parts of northeast Siberia. We look at snowfall trends here. Again, this is just meteorological winter in the U.S., uh, upticking a bit, um, but again, still trending 23% uh, below average nationally. Uh, winter snowfall is up, however, over last year's pretty anemic conditions, 24%. And again, this is just uh, meteorological winter for the last about halfway through the, the winter here, uh, 1 December through 13 January. One of the factors we can look at is the actually the polar vortex. This is probably the most symmetrical polar vortex um, I've seen in an animation. Uh, again, very, very symmetrical. Uh, which is not good if you want cold weather and snowy weather to move into your part of the hemisphere. Um, so what you want to see is the polar vortex to split apart here, and that way you got greater intrusions of cold and potential snow into, into North America. The good news for snow lovers, we actually do see a little bit of breaking up. You can see a little tiny pulses getting close to the U.S. Um, so again, these certainly can lead to some cold intrusions and some snowier conditions, and actually we're going to see that here in the, in the weeks ahead. So some hope here for uh, this uh, week ahead here for some cold and snow. Uh, if we look at the uh, snow cover here this morning, the snow cover across the U.S., about 39% of us have snow on the ground. Uh, average would be about 41%. Uh, so, again, we're a little below average, uh, and, again, the, the least in six years. So we're, we're going to be adding to that here. We'll show you the animation here. looks uh, promising for snow lovers. So let's uh, take a quick look at that. Here's today. Uh, again, system exiting the uh, upper Midwest. Uh, lots of upper mountain snow in the Rocky Mountains. We jump ahead here to tomorrow, Tuesday. Again, that lingering system in the... Upper Plains, uh, the first of uh, several systems here, actually. Uh, Midweek, uh, Clipper-type event uh, moving through the New England area. And then time to get excited here toward the end of the week. A, a bigger system potential, again, in the upper Midwest. And this should make everyone in the Northeast who loves snow excited. Uh, this is Friday night, Saturday. Uh, again, showing widespread. Uh, eight, this would be our certainly our biggest storm here uh, outside 360 Studio, New York City, maybe even Philadelphia here. So this is uh, something to watch, Friday, Saturday time frame. Uh, certainly looks promising. Models have been hinting at this, so let's hope it. you love snow. This might be your big chance here uh, early in the Martin Luther King Jr. holiday weekend. Run through these one more time here, Monday to Tuesday, Wednesday's Clipper system, and then we start to see signs as we get late in the week, uh, the bigger system in the Midwest. And then with cold air in place, let's hope that this is, uh, again, for snow lovers, uh, First significant snowstorm to talk about here uh, in the lower part of the, the northeast uh, part of the country. If we look at uh, this week overall, we'd say it's a, a tad warmer than last year, 0 0.6 degrees warmer than last year nationally, making it the 14th warmest in 35 years above average. Obviously hot southeast and frigid uh, midwest, northeast, north, I'm sorry, northwest uh, plains. Uh, wettest in 14 years, still a wet pattern, four, fourth wettest in 35 years, so much above average uh, precipitation here for the most of that eastern half of the country, and even the west coast is getting on to it. Bakersfield, California, central San Joaquin Valley can we actually see their first uh, heavier rainfalls. Snowfall, again, with those two big systems moving through the country here, we have a chance for almost twice as much snow as last year and most in 26 years for this week, uh, midweek January. So we'll see. This looks like to be a for sure a snowy week uh, for most of us. Let's hope uh, for snow lovers in the Northeast, they finally get their, their snow event. Looking at next week here, the last full week of January, 20 through 26 January, um, a little misleading here because we're going to get a pretty good cold blast behind that snowstorm, and then it moderates a bit. And So again, but uh, 0 0.7 degrees warmer than last year, but that's still the 12th coldest in 35 years, so a below average week nationally for this uh, last period of January, uh, even though parts of the country are Below average, uh, that little map inset left shows much of the central U.S. is much, much warmer than last year's uh, very, very cold conditions. So, again, uh, cool, and uh, I think some folks will take that. Uh, good clearance opportunity for seasonal sales. 
driest in six years. Uh, not not much uh, precip here after this uh, cold pattern. So colder, drier pattern setting up for the last part of January here. Snowfall down 32% nationally uh, for that next week, but uh, about average. So again, some hope here for snow lovers. So we'll keep you posted on Facebook and uh, Twitter. So uh, check us out there. We hope you have a great week, folks, and we will be back here this time next week.